Cold Give blood. me a roll to start shooting them. Cold right, I'm, blood. Rolling, I'm rolling a D8. How does this happen? Do you have an automatic weapon, Cecil? Yeah, I pulled like an assault rifle, like something along the lines of like a G30, something automatic, not like an M16. All right, so this is Valentine's Day Massacre style. You just hold down the trigger and then sweep across the table. Um, they are riddled with bullets, blood splatters everywhere. They tumble back from their seats. One guy, you know, face down, aces and eights. It was his hand, um, and they're just bloody. The cigarette is still sm smoldering, and it's in the guy's mouth. And they just tumble. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna ankle tap, um, Cecil. Okay. Ankle tap? Yeah, I wanna knock him on his back. Oh, okay. Oh, you wanna knock him on his back? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you you do so. Not that you were, you know, any kinder to Gus, but yeah, let's get this crazy guy with his assault rifle down. Um, <laughs> Can I that? roll to resist it? I yeah, haven't... you both roll. Okay. I haven't Whoever seen any dead bodies in here, so. I, yeah, I suppose I didn't say anything. I'm rolling a D for resist. All right, you gotta roll higher than that to succeed. Oh, I guess I have to roll a D6 then. I could tie it. Yeah, tie would not be a failure, certainly. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, you go tumble to the ground, Cecil, and you Kimball's on top of you, like like Kimball do. Kimball, <laughs> Kimball do what Kimball gonna do? I point the I point the the shotgun at him and I say, "What are you fucking crazy?" Is it might be the first alive people we've ever seen, and you just I gun them down. Doubt that. Stop! I didn't doubt react that. when we encountered them. If they were alive, they would have reacted. And there was a Probably dead man in the showers. Uh, I think Cecil might have been a, a little hasty, but they didn't react to us walking in. They didn't react to us saying, "Put your hands in the air." They just Wait, that's not human. Just don't care. Um, glad that joke. You was see, there. attached to the mess hall. Uh, a kitchen. Okay. Um, I have, I have to go back. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh God. So, I'm totally so going close. I'm <laughs> totally going through the bodies. Do any of them have a key card on them? Uh, not none of these have a key card on them. All right. I'm checking the kitchen then. At, at this point, I I think John Kimball is just starting to look like he's fucking had like the longest day of his life. I like kind we of all had. Yeah. The kitchen is, is empty. Some things were on the pot stewing, sort of, but they've been left unattended for some days now. Um, <laughs> and adjoining the kitchen is another entrance to the storeroom, which you haven't visibly checked yet. Totally checking out the storeroom. The storeroom is packed to the nines. Uh, you see literally everything. Uh, floodlights, generators, tents, uh... Uh, boots, uniforms, uh, uh, food, so much food, uh, so much water. Uh, it, it looks like you could beat a small nation for years with everything that's in the storeroom. I'm taking a drink and I'm like opening like a jar of peanut butter, something simple. Like I'm just hungry and thirsty, so I'm just kind of taking something simple. Oh yeah, it's it's simple and it's satisfying. Uh, I'm going to agree with him for this. I'm just going to start guzzling, basically guzzling water. Okay, All right, you guys. Us. You guys remembering that you have basic human needs for the first time in the campaign. To uh, be fair. Yeah, I knew happened. we had them. I just, yeah. Whoa. I ate a meat pie. Right? Yeah, you're, you're actually the least hungry and thirsty of anybody here, but you're the first one to, you you, you greedy, <laughs> gluttonous pig, you. Um, <laughs> Cut into some of these supplies and start eating. Yeah, I'm just going to start guzzling water and eat eat something with one yeah, I have I, left. I did the same. I like took a big drink of water and then like I have like a, like I said like a jar of peanut butter. I'm literally walking around like eating it with like my hand, like my rifle That's... on my back, and I'm gonna check out the freezer. I Let's assume there's that. MREs in here. Oh yeah, I'll yeah, grab some MREs. Where are you, you got one of your favorite MREs from back in the day? I don't know, lasagna or spaghetti or something. I grab some fucking Cheetos and I just start munching it. They don't have Cheetos. Fuck you. Why they not Cheetos? Big because cans they have, it looks like they're they're going uh, for maximum amount of uh, calories. Yeah, for like bomb shelters. Okay. Yes. All right then. Uh... Like I said, it looks like you could feed a small nation for years with what's okay. in this uh, stores. John Kimball's not gonna eat anything. You? He's got no appetite. He's, um, he's got Cecil, no appetite whatsoever. No. What about a drink? Freezer. 
where he finds uh, several soldiers uh, frozen alive, or, or dead, rather. I upright. literally turn back around, and I'm like, John, take a look in the freezer, and I walk out and make a right down towards the analysis room again. Uh, I, I see him do that, and I poke my head around the corner, and I look at the freezer. Do I see, yeah, I see, see frozen soldiers, and I'm just like, I don't know why you wanted me to look at this. <laughs> I shut the uh, door. You head back down to the analysis room? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, I'll follow him out. Yeah, All right. Know. You're back in the analysis room. You've been here. What do you do? Checking the servers. Checking one of the last places we haven't looked. All right. There's still several places you haven't looked, and there's closer inspections you haven't done. But, yes, the servers are a server room. Okay. Out of Nothing the interesting. Here. Yeah, All right. the ordinary other than, you know, a lot of servers. Alright, okay. let's go to the bathrooms then. Uh, male or female? I'm checking out the female. <laughs> of course Ces you are. Cecil has a problem, obviously. He fell for Trixie's trick. <laughs> As you open the, uh, uh, female, uh, bathroom, you, uh, other than the stalls and the sinks, etc., you see, uh, a woman standing in the corner, facing the corner. I literally say, "Excuse me, miss. What day is it?" Oh, so you gunned down those guys, but not this motherfucker standing in the no, corner. No, yeah, you talked to that person. They didn't react. I'm asking her, "What day is it?" Did she say anything? Shh. <laughs> I shoot her. All right, roll the shooter. She roll said something. <laughs> Three out of four. Is that a? Uh, Success. you, uh, yeah, you fumble the gun and you don't really shoot her. Does she do anything in reaction to me firing at her? All she did was shush you, and now she's back to standing, staring into the corner. Did anybody go with him? Yeah, I was behind him. I, I'm right. going to the male bathroom. Alright, you go to the male bathroom even though he's talking to someone. There's nothing in the male bathroom. I, I shoot her again, dude. <laughs> Alright, roll the shooter again. I got it, I got it. No, you didn't. Um, what? Oh no! You shoot her at her, and you you swear you got her, um, but there is is uh, a little plink of ceramic um, next to her in the tile, next to her I, legs. I, I take a peek into the room. Uh, there's a woman staring out of the corner. I literally, I uh, I'm like Aaron, stand back. I throw a grenade in the room, and I I walk away. Okay. Alright, give me a roll to throw the grenade to use a grenade properly. Oh <laughs> god! Uh, I'm gonna use a D6. Don't get a 1. Alright. All right. <laughs> it sucked, but I didn't get a 1. <laughs> um, circle flies out of your hand incorrectly and and lands in one of the stalls, and you hear a plunk of water as it, it lands in one of the toilets. Um, and then a moment later, uh, there's a big splash of water and the cracking of ceramic as you explode a toilet. Um, right. And no other significant damage into the room. I open the door again, and assuming every, like you said, everything's the same except I like kind of blew up a stall. You totally destroyed one of the toilets, but she's still staring into the corner, not moving. All right, see, so I assumed like, when he opened the door again, she'd be standing right there. Ah, uh, no. Yes, <laughs> it's more like Jay, and I don't do those. <laughs> Cecil's done with this shit. He walks up and he literally just tries to like kick her in the back, assuming his foot's gonna go through her and hit the wall. Uh, alright, uh, give me a roll to kick her. Alright. Violent, violent woman beater. Um, you really haul off and plow her in the back, and it feels like kicking a steel pole. She doesn't give at all, and, uh, I mean, that you don't have your foot because you got, you know, big old boots on that you got from the armory. Um, but, uh, I don't, I don't go through her. I feel like I, I kick her, it just feels like I'm kicking steel. A steel like pole. Yeah, there's absolutely no give. She doesn't bend or or roll forward at all. I like freak out at this point. I'm just like, will you tell me what fucking day it is? Cecil, get the fuck out here. Shh. I just like let off the, the like remaining clip of my gun into the like the fucking ceiling and wall and shit, and I just reload and walk out. <sighs> Yeah, you totally, yeah. and everyone in the entire, all of you in the group here, gunfire, a whole clip of ammunition getting poured out in the bathroom for some reason. Man, well, I'm just standing out there with my face in my hand, just 
I, and I'm I just like the male bathroom, just like what the I'm hell like, is I'm happening? like dead eyed too. Like I'm like I'm getting to the point where I'm so unfazed by shit. Like I'm just like tired of it. Like oh yeah, you're so unfazed that you unload load a clip in frustration. Like well, not not on. Think, you think you've moved into unfazed, but really what you've moved into is is, is like in, uh, insanity. Yeah, yeah, mania. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what I mean. Like I look. Like I'm unfazed, but I'm obviously like not unfazed, and I'm gonna let somebody else make an action as to where we should look. I, I turn to Caleb. Uh, sorry, not Caleb. I turn. I turn to a uh, Aaron, and I'm like, sound like Cecil needed to take a dump. And then I, <laughs> and then I, uh, I turn around and I go back to the, uh, the the door with the hazard symbol on it. All right, you give it a closer inspection. I do. Yes, I will roll a d6. You don't need to. Okay. You just need to say that you actually look. Um, all you guys did originally was look down the hall. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what you see is uh, behind the doors marked radioactive is what is clearly like a scrub down room. There are hazmat suits in it, and there's like a you know decontamination uh, sit setup. Um, and beyond that is a door that's spray printed in big letters, uh, "Reactor." Is there any way of knowing? How to like put correctly protect uh, yourself from radiation? Is there yeah. like a diagram on the wall or something like that? What? Well, well, how to do it properly? No, it assumes you know there are suits behind this door. Okay. Um, they're clearly from the movies, radiation suits. All right. Okay. Um, I will. Uh, I'll just sort of go. All right, and then I'll just put my gun on the ground, and I'll put one of the suits on, and then. I will press the decompression button on the wall. Alright, Kimball, as, as he hears gunshots coming from the bathroom, enters the reactor with a full suit on. The reactor uh, appears to be a control console uh, in front of a, uh, a pool of water um, with light coming out of it. Um, a, and the pool of water is about the size of... Uh, what's a good uh, comparison... Um, Maybe uh, like like three times the size of a manhole cover. Okay. I, 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 can, I can think of a better one if I'm not sleepy. Um, so it's it's not a very huge one, but obviously there are nuclear reactor rods or some kind of setup in this water um, that's powering the thing that you're in. So does it? I'm, I'm not. I'm not like. I don't know what a nuclear reactor looks like. Man, you're sneezing crazy over there. Yeah. Um, it. Is there, does it look like out of sorts? Does it look like it's been tampered with? Does it look like everything is supposed to be in its place? No, I mean, there's no blinking red lights in here. Okay. I mean, there's there's sort of red emergency lights through the entire base, but they're not blinking in the sort of panicky way that you expect uh, from movies that when something's wrong with a nuclear thing, it, it does. Yeah. All right. Um, can I inspect the room? Yeah, sure. Give me a roll for that, obviously, since you asked. Four. Um, you get that the control panel does all of the everything in here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's a little over your head with a four roll, but you gather that there are... Uh, uh, it's probably a largely automated process because um, the controls aren't a bunch of dials and stuff. It's mostly buttons and, like, a keyboard. So... Presumably, um, some amount of computer work goes into controlling this reactor properly. Is there a way that if there is like an emergency shutdown or something like that that I can see? With a four, you don't comprehend the actual content of the controls. Alright, is there a way that I can maybe... <sighs> you're under a lot of stress. Sabotage? And you think, yeah. You're under a lot of stress, and uh, you think... Um, you think it is comprehensible... You just, uh, you just, you're not parsing it just yet. Okay, I want to use a 1d8, if that's right, to see if I can... Yeah, you're allowed to use a 1d8. Six. Yeah, with a six, um, you sort of blink, clear your head, it becomes very clear. Uh, there is very clearly a self-destruct command, um, on the, on the command console. Um, uh, it says, uh... I mean, it doesn't say specifically self-destruct or, you know, got a cartoonish explosion uh, label or anything like that. Sure. Um, it's uh, 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 self... Ah, uh, oh, God damn it. I, I remember this. I'm sleepy. It's... Uh, 
So, so it's self-destruct to contain something like like it's it's got a protocol. Okay. It's like a, so it's a, not going to be like a Chernobyl containment or protocol. Like yeah. Self-destruct. There's a button for it. All right. Um, an easy to push button. <laughs> tremendously easy. Tremendously uh, easy to push this button if you were to have a death wish. All right. Okay. So I'll um. I'll take a look around the room one more time, and then I'll, uh, I guess I'll make my way out. Um, it, I, I would like to be able to shut this thing down, but if there's no clear way of me being able to do it without killing everyone... Well, there's a self-destruct that is not really clear how that would play out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you leave the reactor. The dude, Kimball, comes out of the reactor. You've all explored the bathroom. You still yeah, have I was basically be waiting for him out of the reactor. Yeah. But then again, you haven't actually looked. Just entered rooms. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head to the analysis room and see if we can actually get a description of what's happened here. Oh, yeah, you can give me a the, roll. Um, wait, didn't we do that earlier though? Where um, we kind of, we kind of just read what was on the monitors. So. Yeah, so there was a comprehend, and this is a much better roll than that was. Um, so uh, the monitors. Uh, with this, you can um, actually you, you figure out how to get it to sort of it's in some sort of repeating cycle of all these multiple uh, things but you can, with the seven, you figure out how to get one of them to stop repeating and just stay on a thing and then also select the thing. Um, so, uh, what do you want to select of all of the things that I described earlier, if you recall? I don't recall, sorry. There was a thing tracking a heat source. There was some sort of uh, log or transcript of something, and then there was a uh, sort of a danger protocol, blah 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 thing. I'll select the danger protocol thing. So danger protocol brings up sort of a danger protocol, blinking, blinking, blinking. It says containment breach, uh, initiate protocol uh, seven, um, which uh, with a seven. Uh, on your roll, you can sort of uh, double click and it'll bring up what Protocol 7 is in case you're you know, a poorly trained member of this secret government facility. <laughs> um, and uh, Protocol 7 is to call uh, Central Command, uh, inform Central Command of the situation. Um, and so that's what's blinking on several of the monitors is, you know, initiate Protocol 7. Am I able to scroll through the rest of them? Uh, uh, the other option was reading the log file. Yeah, or do you want to read what the transcripts are? Yeah, I want to go through the files and see if I can figure out what's happening through the transcript and whatnot. So protocol one through six are essentially increasing levels of security or uh, what appears to be security um, and inspection. Well, no, 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 I mean, I mean, the you said there was a log transcript. Yeah, you want to go to the log transcript? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. All right. Uh, the log transcript says. Uh, Log transcript from Expedition 226, uh, I believe it was. Uh, I make up the number every time. I think it was 226 this time. Um, uh, uh, and it's basically a... Uh, it reads date and time of various log entries from some guy um, who's talking about an expedition. Um, the first is dated uh, a week before Saturday and has um, three a day. Uh, which are largely uneventful, says things like uh, investigated Site 2, found nothing new of consequence, set up a new tent, um, stashed more supplies at Site 3, stashed more supplies at Site 4, uh, repaired RV at Site 6. Like, um, none of that makes a lot of sense. Um, but then uh, there's a log entry for Saturday um, of this week, which reads... Uh, Sergeant uh, or, or Corporal Johnson found a uh, new artifact at Site 7. Uh, we'll report uh, back to base uh, presently, um, which is almost immediately followed by another report. Uh, artifact found by Corporal Johnson appears uh, to be changing. Uh, request backup, which is followed then again immediately by uh, a transcript or a log that says uh, my god Johnson what are you doing stop stop gunfire noises it says on the transcript in brackets uh, and then 
uh, all further transcripts from the log file are, are done. When was that last transcript? Saturday. Okay, so we know that Sergeant Johnson was the cause of all this. Or Corporal Johnson. Are those Patient okay. Zero. Sergeant Johnson was the one you found outside. Sergeant Corporal Johnson was the one you found outside. Okay. okay. So, mm-hmm. we can tell found an artifact, went crazy, and killed all the people. Maybe. Sounds um, like a transcript, perhaps. What was the third thing? The tracking the heat source? Tracking some sort of heat source. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. If you take a look at that, you can um, read fully that uh, it uh, it's labeled, and uh, you can actually expand the map, and what you see is the map of the entire facility. Congratulations, first of all. Um, yes. And what yeah. you see is a heat source uh, moving around inside this location, uh, being tracked by the uh, that particular display. So it moves, you know, casually around uh, this space, and occasionally it goes down this tunnel. How big is the heat source? Um, it's very intense. You can see there's a temperature readout um, uh, uh, on the side of the display, so it shows which color is which to temperature. Uh, it's a very intense heat, but it's very small. Okay. Alright, we need to find that key card. Yeah. Is that about everything I can look at on this computer? Uh, I mean, yeah, there's more, but I can't just tell you you have to say. You have to actively say what you try and do. Um, I mean, there's theoretically more. It's, also, it's not necessary. Is there any way to unlock uh, certain doors right here, like the, uh, like that, door. what was it called? The circle Iris door. door. The Iris door, yeah. There's sort of a command prompt for security, but you don't have, when you try and bring that up, uh, it just says access denied. You know, it requires administrative access. Uh, uh, the existing key card we have, can we use that here? Yeah, the existing key card uh, clearly is sort of a grunt key card to get in and out of the facility. Okay. Um, right. This is clearly higher security in inside. Um, does it say who would have administrative access? Uh, you can look up, open a uh, personnel file, uh, which has pictures and everything, and uh, it shows who's sort of at the top tier. And you can give me sort of an investigation roll to see if you recognize any of those people. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we lost, lost him. Uh, um, he's back, man. He's back. Oh, he's back right away? Yeah. He's back. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do one of those rolls. All right. Well, I'm going to go a D6, though, because I've been good with those so far. Five. Five. Yeah. Um... One of the people in the personnel file clearly has administrative access that you recognize. It's the woman who's stationary in the bathroom. Fuck. Uh, well, let's, kinda... let's let's go talk to her. Uh, of course. What's you her name, the by the way? Oh, it says uh, Lillian what? Bentleyworth. I stride out the door and go to get her tag. So you go to the bathroom. Yep. You approach her. Yep. And you search her for a tag. Yep. All right. Give me a search roll. Yeah, actually, you find it. It's in the breast pocket of her uh, suit coat. Okay. You take it, and she says it does nothing in response. Okay. Just walk right out of the bathroom. All right. I squint at her angrily. <laughs> I hand it over to Kimball. Uh, All right, Kimball, you yeah. now have the key yeah, card that has high enough clearance to open the uh, shutter eye door. Well, let's put the an end to this island. this this fucking nonsense, I, su- I suppose. And then we walk on over to the uh, to the iris door, and I, you know, do the whole thing. And yeah, it opens. Whoosh, it's really cool the way that it opens. It's awesome, even. Um, and you pass through it. Uh, do you head to observation or infirmary? I say we do observation. I agree. I'm in full agreement yeah. on that. There are stairs that go up to observation, and then there's just a door 
um, if you peek through the door, because it has a glass window, um, inside observation, you see a uh, burn marks very clearly in a band right around the middle of the room. Uh, and that's what you can see from outside. Alright, I open the door. Inside, you find numerous uh, burnt and singed and smoldering uh, skeletons. Um, still at their consoles uh, that also have a lovely view of the mines or the mine area and through that window what you see is just a bloodbath at least 50 soldiers uh, splattered pinned to the walls, pinned to the ceilings burnt to a crisp frozen alive presumably melted uh Full holes, disformed, disfigured, crushed by rocks. It's just a, a just a battle zone in there, and everybody's dead. They're all dead, Jim. We last saw the heat signature go out this way, right? Uh, you look out in the thing, yeah, and the heat signature had gone down the tunnel, and down the tunnel you see a a, a faint red light. You also see these two blue things are massive gun placements that are pointed down the tunnel. All right, is there a way, any consoles whatsoever in the observation room? Yeah, there are consoles, but they do relatively the same thing from analysis. They what? Okay. They do the same things as the consoles in analysis. Do those um, guns look remotely operated? Oh, uh, no. They are definitely designed to have a guy behind them. All right, so there's a big hole in the window, right? No. Window's totally intact. But this was, okay. Interesting. Um, this was more very, very thick, too. Okay, alright, so I guess we head back down to the infirmary. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, uh, uh, to be the entrance, you can see another shutter eye door um, from observation that presumably leads into infirmary. The blue thing, by the way, is another decontamination door. Okay. I uh, totally go on in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you pass through infirmary. Infirmary is another bloodbath. There are doctors um, also dead in all manner of ways. Um, one soldier in particular is up on an autopsy table. It looks like they may have been in the process of autopsying a soldier whenever they died. I'm uh, going to inspect that. Yeah, you can keep a roll. See if I uh, notice anything unique. I'm going to do a Dewey 8. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. That's, damn. That's, is that your first one? Yep. <laughs> yep. So what you find is there's a very it's very clear that there's a lead doctor and in his hand is clutched a, a report. The report is the same log file you read earlier in analysis on the computer of an expedition that went wrong. Um, and uh, following that is um, his transcript of an autopsy of one of the soldiers back from expedition two two six. Um, was recovered early, uh was uh, apparently damaged internally somehow, couldn't deci decipher how, had to cut him open, found that his internal organs had been cooked. Uh, huh. And uh, he was slowly dying. Or, when we were slowly dying when we recovered him. He was already dead by the time we began the autopsy. Um, I hope he was dead. Yeah. Uh, and that was apparently what they were in the middle of when they died. Basically, some of them have shoved scalpels into their own eyes. Um, uh, another guy uh, seems to have injected himself with a syringe that had an air bubble in it. Um, yeah. Huh. Oh yeah, lots of uh, horrific death, both external and self-inflicted. Um, I just have one curious question: Is there a dog tag on this guy who's on the infirmary table? 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 Yeah, he's uh, he's uh, Private uh, Rivers. Okay. Well, folks, you wanna. We'll open this final door, see what lies ahead. I'll blue yonder. Let's head back to the laboratory first to see if we can figure out anything more about this yeah. artifact. And yeah, after that, looks like we have to. We head back into the laboratory. I mean, there's a. Uh, you can give me an investigation roll, but. Uh, I will do that. I'll roll for investigation. Five. Uh, you find the file that's already been laid out 
for the specific artifact that became active. Um, and it uh -huh. says, for this particular artifact, um, the only piece of new information that matters is recovery date 1978. What? Really? This, the Taurus that has become active recently mm -hmm. was recovered in 1978. Alright. Okay. Fuck, I feel like I'm missing something. Well, I guess we're going to the mines now. Yeah, let's do All right. it. You enter the mines as a group. Uh, yep. The red light at the end of the tunnel persists. What do you do? Oh, by the way, the shutter eye door closes behind you. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's that was settling.